Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic Survival. Now, in survival mode, there are so many things that I still have to do. I still have to make an epic base. I still have to build the biggest farm that I can. There's so many vehicles that I can do and improve on, but there's something that has been calling my name. I have to do it before I can keep progressing, and that is build a rocket ship that is going to take me all the way to space. Now, I say space, but I'm imagining I'm probably just going to hit a wall instead, but that's okay. I just, I need to find out what is up there. So that's what we're going to do. I have a whole bunch of supplies here. Look at this. I have invested in thrusters. These aren't even complete yet. I've got fuel ready to go. But before we do that, I forgot to open garment boxes in the last survival video. So I'm going to open up some extra ones. I think I'm gonna do three common and the one epic one. So then I'm only gonna have some commons left, which means I do have to go and try and find some more. All right, come on. All I want is a backpack. Here we go. Backpack. Oh, no, it's just, it's just a shirt. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna bother looking at it. I already know I don't want it. All right, here we go. Number two. It's just another shirt. Come on. I need that backpack. All right, garment box number three. Whoa, these are some crazy looking shoes. Hold on. Those look like some space shoes or something. Let's see what we got here. Shoes. Whoa. Oh, they these look these look kind of weird, but I feel like I do actually like these orange ones a little bit more. Okay, so we've got one more to open right now. This is a very rare one, so hopefully this is going to be what I need for that elusive backpack. All right, come on. Rare box. I need my backpack. Oh, no, it's it's like golf shorts. No, you know, as someone who plays golf and owns shorts like this, this is the worst thing to see right now. <laughs> but we're just going to go back to our original nothing new to wear today. Kind of disappointing, uh, but that just means we're now ready to start our space mission. So we're going to build this thing. I've got all of these thrusters here now. I have a bit of a model here that I'm going to be using to kind of illustrate what is going to happen here. I'm going to build like a cockpit up on the top here, and then there's going to be four thrusters that are used for the vertical forces that we're going to need to go up as high as we can. So I'm going to be using these four thrusters here for the vertical force. I have to upgrade these two level one thrusters all the way up to level five, and we're going to have four of them here. And then I'm going to have four more thrusters here all facing inward and I have these four buttons that we're gonna use to kind of like give each one individual power and that's gonna be used kind of like as our vertical steering so hopefully this is gonna work it's basically gonna be like a large dart that flies straight up into the sky so I do need to upgrade two of those thrusters though now I think it's 40 per 40 per thruster so I already have two of them that's the ones that we've been using for the uh, for the boat and all that good stuff. Okay, so one more. Okay, there's level five there. Three, five. Okay, and there's another level five. Okay, so now I have four level five thrusters. This is insane. So it's becoming nighttime, but we've got pretty good lighting in here for our building. And hopefully I'm going to have something ready to go uh, by the morning. Uh, or at least something that we can test. Now, I've decided I'm going to be using cardboard for the building of this vehicle. Uh, and that is because cardboard is actually like one of the lightest blocks. I think cardboard and the bubble block are both very, very light. Now, these are highly destructible, though. I'm pretty sure if I use my hammer, yeah, it breaks it. So these are very fragile, but luckily... I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. We're going to avoid enemies and using our own weapons around this thing. But I guess I'm going to start building. Um, I, I suppose the first thing I'm going to want to do is I need like a main floor or platform for our driver's seat. Now, this is going to go somewhere, I guess, like right around here. Now, I was going to want to use these large windows. I know they're going to add like a decent amount of weight to the entire vehicle. But I feel like it's totally worth it. I, I know that it's going to use more fuel, but, you know, it's just, it has to look pretty cool, too. So I'm just going to actually extend all of this out even farther, and that's because I want to be able to just kind of center all of these around the seat. So I'm just going to give myself a bunch of extra space, and I'm just going to kind of 
extend these out a little further. I think these need to be one block away. All right, here we go. Last window going in place. Just, oh, of course, in the wrong spot. There we go. So yeah, this is going to be the cockpit. This is what we're going to be riding in on our way to space. I'm not going to put a ceiling on this, though. This is just going to be totally open to the atmosphere. Uh, but luckily, I don't think we need to worry about any type of uh, wind resistance or any type of stuff like that happening. So now I'm just trimming off the excess blocks here. And I'm going to keep it nice and tight. I don't want any excess weight. Like, obviously, I'm using the windows. Uh, but beyond that kind of stuff, I am going to try and keep this as simple as possible. Now, it's kind of annoying. The lift is in the way right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build some blocks up just like so. And I should be able to grab somewhere from the top here, I think, with the weld tool. Okay, maybe not right here, but I can at least build something like that. And I'm just going to weld that to that. And so now I can just build on the bottom here. So this is this is where things are going to get crazy. Now, I need my thrusters for the lift. I already know that. So let's grab all four of these. Now, I think the idea for me was I was going to put them all in like... A square shape around the perimeter of this thing all right just like so so this is the four main thrusters that we're gonna use for lift now I need to be able to put a fuel tank on this thing as well and I'm not sure like the shape of this is actually like not a perfect square so I'm wondering what is the, sh the size of this side here what is this this is okay that's not good so this is odd width here and then it's an even width there. So I've been thinking about my options with this and where I'm gonna put it. And I think, like, I was almost considering making a second one. Just so I can, like, have one on one side and one on the other side. But I might just actually bite the bullet here and place it in a way that is going to offset my weight. Because I feel like there's really not much I can do. And I'll just use my steering to compensate. I mean, well... I don't know. Now, you know what I just realized? I'm going to do some testing before I even try and go all the way up into space. And one thing I might be able to do is I might be able to use blocks to offset the weight. Now, I have a feeling that, like, if you look at your weight values on your materials, like, for example, the, the fuel can, right? This thing is actually quite large, but the weight that it shows is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it has a weight of 5. But we know that it takes up more space than just a single block, right? And if we look at the metal, this has a weight of 5 as well. So I'm imagining that if this has a weight of 5, each block cell of the part is taking up that much weight. So a piece of metal here is the same as one little side like this. So if I use the blocks to kind of create something like this around it, then I think I might be able to kind of extend the size of it and change the balancing. But we're going to do that for some testing. Uh, now, I will set it up in place before we even do that. So that will be the initial test. And I was thinking of putting it somewhere like right here. And I think that should be down one lower than it should be, right? And now, if I put blocks like this here of metal, just like that, I have a feeling that that is going to even it out. Now I'm going to extend this out. I'm going to make this relatively long because I want to be able to dampen these thrusters a little bit. I don't want uh, too much force coming out of them. And I'm only going to have a very limited amount of fuel. I'm only going to put the fuel in here for these ones. So each one is basically going to be like a stabilizer rocket that is going to have its own limited amount of fuel that I have to use sparingly in order to go up in a straight line. But here we go. I'm going to grab four of these buttons here. Now, these buttons, I'm actually going to put them up here with me in the cockpit. Can I? Okay. Uh-oh. Not good. Not good. So yeah, I'm going to put them in here at each corner for maximum balancing. Now, I've got a whole bunch of fuel for this as well. You can see I have a bunch here. I also have a smaller chest filled with them as well. So I'm just going to grab a stack of 20 and I'm just going to pop one in each of these here. So let's just hop into the chair. Let's do some quick testing here. One. Okay, one is good. Two, three, and four. Okay, everything is looking good there. Space mission, test number one for hover sequence. Oh, I didn't hook it up. Okay, space mission, test number two for hover and balance. Here we go. That was not enough power to even hover. Okay, so we're going to up 
our thrusters one more, just like that. Okay, space mission test number three for balance and hovering. Still not enough. I'm gonna increase the thrusters by two this time. And I mean, if that's still not enough to lift this whole thing, then I have really underestimated how many thrusters this is gonna take. All right, test number four. Let's see what happens. How am I not going up right now? I'm just gonna max them out. Maxing out all of the thrusters. There's no way this doesn't get us up in the air somehow. All right, I've lost track of how many tests this is, but it's test for maximum thrusters. Let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. We went up. It looked pretty straight. I, I couldn't actually do any proper testing, but we now have lift. So I think that means we're ready to move on to stage two of our testing process. Now, this is just going to be for testing the directional kind of inputs that we're going to be using while we're flying. So I'm going to put five in each of these, just like so. Let me just try this really fast here, okay? We're just going to use five. Okay, so you can see... I'm getting hardly any directional inputs from those thrusters down at the bottom there. Now I realize I do need to boost these up a little bit. I might have to spend like another 40 component kits upgrading these if they don't give us any pivoting power. Alright, so here we go. Another control test. Okay, that's way better. Look at that. That's really good now. Really good. Alright, so I'm gonna build a launch platform right here we've got a full set of metal this is going to be our launch site for this rocket i'm feeling pretty good now we did use some fuel there now i'm going to fill up all of these thrusters i'm going to fill the tank up one final time and i think we're ready for our mission to space all right this is it we are ready for our first launch into space it's 5 10 the sun is still up. I think we've got enough time in the day for our first initial launch. So I've got everything ready. Everything's painted up too. This thing is looking... It's looking all right, I guess. <laughs> but here we go. It is time for mission to space. Launch number one in three, two, one, go. This is it. We're going up. Oh my God, this is actually scary. This is so scary. We're going straight though. I have had no need for any controls. Wow, look at the ocean. Wow, look at, it just looks so, okay, I'm starting to see the horizon now. I can no longer see any farther. We're still going up. Wow, look at this. I can see the hideout. The hideout's right there. I can see all the, like all the lakes. Look at the size of this ocean. Whoa, we just hit the skybox. Uh-oh, okay. Thrusters off. Oh, man. Okay, we're like going straight back down. Oh, God. We're going straight back down to the ground. We've moved a little bit. We bounced right off of the skybox. That is insane. Okay, this is crazy. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Ooh. Well, we almost just hit that walk. I have a feeling I might be able to use this to like to steer a little bit. Now that was straight to the skybox. I used a little bit extra fuel on the way down as well just to speed it up. But how much did we use? Okay, we used like almost 40 here. And I don't think I even used any of our... Yeah, I didn't use any control thrusters whatsoever. This thing was that stable despite having some changes here. Now this must be right, I think, that the block count is what matters on the weight of a part or a block. Now... Can I use this to kind of steer a little bit? If I like go backwards this way... Yeah, look, we can kind of fly. Because I can lean it this way now. Oh yeah! This is like a weird space elevator or something like that. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a... Uh, it's a really good flying craft, but... If you need to go from like one spot to another without touching the ground, this thing is it. Let's try this out. Oh, here we go. This is so cool. It has cost me so many component kits. Oh, wow, look, we have a spin. We're spinning right now. Uh-oh, we are not going straight up. Uh-oh. Not good. We're going into a spin. Uh-oh. 
Turn back. Oh, this is not good. Uh oh. Okay, kill it. Abort mission. Wow, this thing is hard to control. I mean, it's just not very intuitive, I guess. Let me see. Can we do a soft landing? Easy. Oh, look at this. We're coming in for a landing. We just saved it. Oh, man, those level 5 thrusters. They look so cool. Wow, we landed this thing. So that mission did end up burning through a lot of fuel, but there's one more that I want to do. Now, I think it's totally worth it, but the sunrise is going to happen in a few minutes, so I'm going to chill here, I'm going to wait, and I'm going to launch myself up to the sky again, but this time I want to do it while we see the sunrise in the morning. It might be like a very beautiful experience, uh, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Alright, it's about 15 seconds to sunrise. I think I'm going to launch it at exactly... 4 a.m. Or maybe once I start seeing some light. Okay, it's starting to come up now. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Launch. Here we go. We're going to just go straight up again. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we get to see a beautiful sunrise here. Oh, wow. I just love the view. Love it. Like, look, you can see that's the starting point. The crashed ship is right over there on that little peninsula. That's my first warehouse that I saw. Man, I just, I didn't even notice these things the first time we went up. Look, I can see all of the land around me. Absolutely amazing. Okay, we're probably nearing it. What time is it now? Okay, 4.35. There it is. It took 35 seconds to reach the skybox again. Wow. Let's take a look, closer look, though. Just look is it, that is the crashed ship over there, right? It must be. That is so cool. Okay, here we go all the way back down to the ground. Oh, man. This is actually awesome. Now, I really do hope that one day there maybe I mean, I guess I would say, you know, no skybox. We can just keep going until we start floating. That would be absolutely insane. But a man can dream, right? But I mean, maybe one day we'll be able to go higher than that. Uh, I still think that's pretty cool. Now, this is awesome. If I go up and I don't use, like, any extra thrust, if I just go up to the ceiling, hit it, and then come back down with no thrusters, this thing really doesn't use that much fuel. You know, I can do this launch, like, one, two, like, th at least three times before I need to fill back up again. I mean, it's absolutely pointless in a way, but, I mean, if anything, it's good for scouting an area. Now, I'm gonna do one more launch, and that's because I need to get a thumbnail for this video. Uh, and, you know, I would hate to go on a launch without you guys. So let's go up together. We're gonna do one final launch here. For the thumbnail. Maybe, uh, something... Something like this here? I think that might be pretty good. Oh man. This is so crazy. I don't even know how... I don't even know how to thumbnail this. This is so intense, though. Like, look, I can see little islands over there. So... Where it stops rendering, like, all the way out there, is that just farther ocean, or is that, like, the edge of the world? Maybe I'll have to do, like, a video ooh, where I go to the edge of the map with a boat. I Like, I wonder if everything is surrounded by an ocean. But no matter what, this is so much bigger than any of the creative maps that we have ever seen, so... Alright, one final launch. I want to just try for some more thumbnail screenshots, but also, I'm just, I'm having a blast doing this. This is so cool to be able to see so far away. I'm so used to just being on the ground and seeing, like, the hill next to me. But, like, when I saw the hideout over there, I was, like, I was just blown away. It was just so cool. Now, I feel like... I feel like those are some pretty good thumbnail shots, right? I should be able to make those work. Yeah, look at that. The hideout way over there. Oh, here's the first person view, by the way. Wow, uh-oh, we're getting into, like, a crazy spin. What about first person, like, strict follow cam? Oh, never mind, we're all the way at the top. First person view on the way back. Oh, wow, look at this. This is so crazy. I'm just gonna use my thrusters a bit to kind of, like, steer us. Oh, wow, oh, this is intense. I One thing I've loved about Scrap Mechanic is the fact that they've always done a really good job with, uh, like, the height and the perspective Oh, man. Am I gonna land it? Let's just try and land it. Oh, jeez. 
So there you have it guys, if you've ever wondered what is all the way up at the top in the sky, is it space? Is it another dimension? Well, no, it's actually just a giant wall. But like I said, maybe one day we might be able to go farther. Uh, who knows what this game is going to be capable of in the future. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, no matter how ridiculous or stupid this idea might have been, it was lots of fun. I, I don't think I'm going to keep this rocket around, but it was some good experimenting. We got some really good info on some fuel burning ratios. Uh, this thing is relatively expensive, so not practical, but great for scouting the uh, local area. We saw so far away. If you had this and you didn't know where your hideout was, well, I guess you would have spotted it pretty easily. Uh, so if you guys did enjoy this though, then make sure you leave a like on the video. If you guys want to tune in for some more endless scrap mechanic, then, you know, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Maybe even turn on some notifications so you get the latest and the craziest coming from me in scrap mechanics. So I guess I'm going to do one final launch until we run out of fuel. And, uh, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I, I hope you guys have been enjoying the survival playthrough so far. Um, and, uh, yeah, I I'm looking forward to some more of it. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments as well uh, for future survival videos. There we go. We've just run out of fuel.